In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a extra charge to a WooCommerce payment gateway in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our checkout page and based on the payment method that we select, there'll be an extra fee being applied. Okay, so I've created a condition that whenever a customer checks out and choose this cash and delivery payment method, then we want to charge a 10% payment gateway fee. Okay, and here, as you can see, the payment gateway fees applying, we can change this label as well. I've just set it to payment gateway fees. And here you can see it's being charged at a 10% rate based on the order total. Okay. So if we were to choose like invoice, for example, then there isn't any payment fees being applied. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooSuite Dynamic Pricing and Discount Rules plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that said, let's head over to our dashboard and let's get started. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the WooSuite Dynamic Pricing and Discount Rules plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload and activate that plugin. So we'll navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and activate the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Go ahead and click activate, enter in your license key, then it will automatically redirect you to this add-on section. And then we can go ahead and enable this dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin. So just go ahead and toggle this to on. Once you've done so, you'll see this manage button here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Okay. And then we just want to navigate to the tab where it says checkout fees. Okay. And here I've already got a rule running. Okay. So in your case, you'll just go ahead and click add a pricing group and then you'll see a field similar to this one. Okay. In fact, I'll go ahead and quickly remove this one and then we'll just start again. So we'll just click add a pricing group. Okay. And then here for the title, this is just for internal purposes. Okay. So we can say COD, right? Cash and delivery. As I said, it's just for internal purposes. And here where it says um, checkout fee label, this is what the customer will see on the front end. Okay. So you just want to name this appropriately. So we'll just say Okay. Okay. For this section here, we can just go ahead and skip this. It's only if you wanted to trigger this rule whenever a customer enters in a particular coupon. Okay. We'll just ignore this for now. And then here where it says fees based on, we can set it based on the cart total or per item, right? So maybe we want to charge um, a set percentage for each item that the customer has added to cart. Personally, I recommend just selecting um, a cart total. Okay. Okay. Then we can add a fixed fee. Okay. Or we can add a percentage percentage base fee. Okay. I'll probably go with a percentage base fee and then you can just set your percent appropriately. I've set mine to 10%, but again, you'll just make sure you set it to something more reasonable for your particular business. Okay. And then here where it says condition, um, this will be based on the payment method. Okay. So we'll just leave it as a payment method. And then here it says condition in, and we'll select the payment method that we want to use to trigger this particular fee. Okay. So in the intro, um, I selected cash and delivery. Okay. Um, so we can select this again, or we can select direct bank transfer for this example. Okay. We can select multiple different payment gateways as well, but I'm going to leave it as it is for now. So we'll just hit save changes. Okay. And now when we visit our checkout page, let's go ahead and refresh this. Okay. So invoice, there's no fee, um, cash and delivery. Now there's no fee, but now when we select direct bank transfer, there's that 10% fee. Okay. So that's just a quick and easy way to add a extra fee based on a payment method that our customers are using to check out on your WooCommerce store. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in a comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.